Hey everybody, welcome to ZManFitness.com. My name is Marcus, and here's this week's tip of the week. As you know, I try not to do a typical fitness tip in my fitness tips. I don't want to talk about, you know, how to do a proper push-up, how to do a proper lunge, how, how many weights to lift, that sort of thing. I mean, anybody can Google that online without a problem. I like to get more into the things that a lot of people don't talk about, what you'd be going through during a workout, what you'd be going through during a program, uh, some of the mental toughness and, and mental things going on, the psych psychological things. And something I've been hearing a lot lately because it's summer and I'm delving a lot more into personal training is um, a, a lot of times one person will really push to lose weight and realize that you know they need to get fit, whether it be um, health fitness, financial fitness with a new job, or emotional fitness with a new hobby. And they want to do it. They need to do it. They recognize that. But a lot of times a spouse or a roommate or somebody that lives with them doesn't support them and they end up going off the track. So that's what I want to talk about today is just briefly being true to yourself. Do this because you want to do it. The way that people work is we like to keep things the same. We don't like change at all. And when something starts changing for the better, that immediately triggers off something for everybody around you that says, okay, we need to figure out how to get this back to where it was because we don't want to change. A lot of times, people who aren't healthy and aren't fit that see somebody who gets fit or gets healthy wants to drag them back down. So they, they rag on them going to the gym. They put down the, the workout program they bought. They badmouth the personal trainer they may have just gotten. Things like that that, that really bring down your self-esteem. And, and think about any time that you know, you've seen somebody succeed, where you want to succeed, what's the first feeling that you honestly get? 99% of the time, it's not going to be joy for that person. It's going to be, well, you know, why, why, why can't I have that? Why can't I do that? And that's the way it is with fitness. If you're finding yourself in that situation where you're not getting support from the people around you, do your best. The best way to change their mind is not to get in an argument with them and start fighting and throwing things and trying to bring them over to your side of, you know, your, your side of thought, the best way that you can bring them over and start them on the path to health and fitness is to get healthy yourself. Put in your DVD every day and push play. Don't let it sit on the shelf because your husband or wife or roommate sits there and makes fun of you the whole time. Ask them to politely leave and do your workout. Go to your gym. Um, restock your refrigerator. Just because the person you're with, the person you're around, or the people you're around like to eat junk food and everything, don't let that stop you. Let them have their own side of the fridge. When you're going out, let them order what they want off the menu. You order what you know is best. And it's going to be hard. There's no doubt about that. But eventually, people will start coming around. And not only will you be changing yourself, but you can actually start helping to change the people around you. So I hope that that helps everybody this week. I hope that if this rings true for you, you can take this advice and really run with it and start helping not only yourself, but the people around you. If you need anything, call, email, text, ask. Um, I'm here for you. And that's it. I hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you next time.